point is that the top court has agreed to hear a plea filed by Pawan Khera seeking consolidation of FIR. The matter was mentioned by senior advocate Abhishek Manu Singhvi. There are multiple FIRs that have been registered against Mr. Pawan Khera in different states across the country. My colleague Anshul with us on the broadcast. Anshul, tell us more about this. Uh, so yes, this plea has been moved by senior advocate uh, Abhishek Manu Singhvi, uh, Singhvi. But yes, on the other hand, if you see, the Assam police had uh, actually uh, asked for help from the Delhi police to uh, take into custody Pawan, uh, the Cong uh, Congress spokesperson and senior leader Pawan Khera. And once uh, Pawan Khera was initially taken into custody by the Delhi police, his, uh, he has now been uh, given uh, given to the Assam okay. police where, okay. we, where what we have been told that the Assam police is currently taking him to the Dwarka court because remember the domestic terminal of the uh, Delhi airport com uh, comes under the jurisdiction of the Dwarka court and now yeah. he's been taken to to the Dwarka court where uh, his uh, transit remand would be taken from the court. So yes, at this point in time, uh, Pawan Khera uh, is being taken into the police vehicle <coughs> along with him, uh, uh, senior leaders like uh, uh, Randeep Surjewala are, are along with him who are reaching Dwarka court and will be presenting their arguments in front of the court and would be seeking time. Anshul, please uh, stay with us on the broadcast. Let's put this into perspective for our viewers. So what is before the Supreme Court is a request by Mr. Pawan Khera. He's the, he's the petitioner in the case. And senior advocate Abhishek Manu Singhvi, who's also a Congress leader, has mentioned this matter. That particular mentioning at the Supreme Court is about consolidation of FIRs. For one offence, there cannot be prosecution in different parts of the country, in different police stations. That's a waste of police time, judicial time, and also a harassment of the person who's an accused in the case. Usually in matters like this, a consolidation of an FIR is done at the request of the petitioner. So whatever may be convenient to the authorities and Mr. Khera at the discretion of the Supreme Court would be decided. The arrest today that has happened... Uh, is on, uh, on the FIR, which is in Guwahati. Now, if the Guwahati police wants uh, the custody of Mr. Pawan Khera, they need to seek a transit remand. A transit remand is a procedure by which the local court shall allow the accused to go to another jurisdiction, Delhi police versus the police in the state of Assam. Dwarka court is a local court where Mr. Pawan Khera, uh, Khera is going to be uh, produced right now. The arguments will be presented as to why the local police in Guwahati needs his custodial interrogation and whether a transit remand is going to be granted by the local magistrate or not. Those visuals on your screen right now are the latest visuals that we are getting for you where Mr. Pawan Khera is being taken to the local court. It is expected that the top leaders of the Congress party, including Mr. Randeep Surjewala, Supriya Srinid, and a battery of the top Congress lawyers uh, may be present during that transit remand hearing. Usually a very small procedure but keeping into mind the political sensitivity of it becomes very very important. Cutting across back to my colleague Anshul who is with us on the broadcast. So Anshul you were pointing out Dwarka court is the court where the local jurisdiction lies. That's where the Assam police is going to seek the transit remand. Well, well, yes. Now he's been taken to the Dwarka court at this point in time, where the transit remand would be seeked. But yes, on the other hand, as you mentioned, uh, that the uh, that a plea has also been moved in uh, in the Supreme Court, where it has been asked to club all those FIRs that has that has been uh, filed against Pawan Khera for his statements that he made on the Prime Minister. Th those pleas should be clubbed together. Uh, but yes, uh, what sources are telling us at this point in time from the Congress Party is that they are, they are going to seek some more time. Uh, from the Dwarka court to give their decision of this transit. Once the hearing is done in the Supreme Court and whatever decision comes out of that, we are expecting that some sort of decision might come from the Dwarka court. But yes, the police at this point in time is making sure that it wastes no time whatsoever. And after the, uh, after the procedure that was done inside the police station in the Dwarka in the mm -hmm. domestic police station, the procedure got complete, completed and he was officially handed over to the Assam police. Now, Assam police is taking him, along with the team of Delhi police, is taking him to the Dwarka court, where from Dwarka okay. court, the transit remand would be, see, uh, would be yeah. taken. But yes, yeah. it needs to be seen if the transit remand would be given before the decision comes in from the Supreme Court or uh, the or the Supreme Court, uh, there will be a... Well, a Anshu, uh, the, 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 as, as you're pointing out, that the transit remand, whether it's given or not, the local magistrate court is going to decide. What is to note here is that what happens at the Supreme Court is a very different matter right now and the arrest which has happened is a very different matter unless there is a change in the prayer that happens in the Supreme Court. So right now the hearing at the Supreme Court and what happens at the Dwarka Court legally per se procedurally will not affect each other at least at this point in time. There's a response coming in from Mr. Surjewala. Let's listen in. Hemanto Biswo Sharma Ji ne जो अपने आप को बहुत बड़े लॉयलिस्ट साबित करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं एक फर्जी एफआईआर असम में दर्ज करके 
और पवन खेड़ा जी को गिरफ्तार किया जा रहा है पवन खेड़ा का कसूर क्या है उन्होंने एक पत्रकार वार्ता में केवल और केवल नाम लिया था हम ये इस सच्चाई से लड़ेंगे हम सच्चाई के सिपाही हैं और न वो हमारी आवाज को दबा पाएंगे न वो हमारी आवाज को रोक पाएंगे हम कानूनी तरीके से भी और राजनीतिक तरीके से भी इस पुलिसिया गुंडागर्दी से जोर से लड़ेंगे